uh, operation quick light screen, uh, scrolling control through optical encoder, rotating down, up, and then center select to edit. So then it scrolls up, down, etc. Press again to set and move back through the menu. Uh, updating different values has a flow on effect, so you can see total shots just changed. Uh, you can adjust the time of the shutter, settings like that. Uh, once you've set all your settings, switch the device into run mode. You can see it's got a counter there. It's a little bit fast with the interval at the moment. So typically that would increment each frame. Uh, some information at the bottom, so the frame rate, uh, shutter, yeah, 18 seconds of total film time, so that's what you would have at 25 frames per second. You end up with 18 seconds of film. Uh, lapse is to go over one minute with a 14 millisecond shutter time. And you can see shutter operation on this LED. So the LED goes off when the shutter's open, and then back on again when it's off. It's because of the way the, um, the cameras work, it's that interface. So yeah, so when you're finished, you just click back. You go back, you can edit your menus again, change setting. Uh, at the moment, the actual thing rolls off the screen when you go too low. Uh, that is fairly easy to fix. It's just a setting. So.